Welcome back to Nine Hole Reviews. This session, we look at what we would consider potentially the best option for a suppressed 22 long rifle host in early 2018. The Ruger Mark IV Tactical 22 Long Rifle. No, not its strange cousin, the 2245 Light Tactical. The Mark IV Tactical's traditional grip is much more comfortable, and the short barrel directly solves any logistical issues on finding subsonic ammunition. We shot our Mark IV Tactical here with a thread-on 5.56 suppressor, making the pistol look like a crossover between a movie assassin's pistol and a well-rod pistol. The US Navy SEALs chose a Ruger Mark II as an integrally suppressed 22, and the suppressed Ruger has always been in plenty of video games and pop cultures as an assassin's pistol. To many people's misconception, Bill Ruger originally designed the pistol after the Japanese Nambu pistol rather than the German POH Luger. The 4.4 inch bull barrel is no arbitrary design. The length keeps the bullet velocity low. So no matter if you're shooting supersonic bolt packs or subsonic, it will never break the sound barrier, making a suppressed pistol incredibly quiet. So the first two shots, supersonic, then two shots, subsonic. Supersonic, subsonic, super, sub. The suppressor sights make it possible for the user to aim without the suppressor obscuring the sight picture. However, I do wish that they had tritium options or at least dots. The slide release and safety are also more like a full-size pistol, making it much easier to manipulate. The drop-free magazine is more like a spring-assisted magazine ejection, a feature that further increases reloading speed. The bull barrel from my pistol also yielded great accuracy. This is a grouping at 15 yards. Ruger does also supply two rails, to attach onto the pistol for the installation of red dots or lights. Perhaps if you're a space smuggler running from stormtroopers, but I prefer the sleek image of the Ruger standard. The traditional Ruger grip angle is also my preference over the 1911 grip angle. The issue with a Mark series pistol has always been with taking down and cleaning, and more so for the suppressed rimfire. After a half century of 22 long rifle pistol sales, the Mark IV push-button takedown finally addressed the issue of the original Ruger's glaring flaw in its disassembly mechanism. After our shooting session, we timed ourselves taking the Mark IV down and cleaning it. Minus brushing the bore, we have cleaned the pistol in 53 seconds and we're back in business. This highlights why the Mark IV single-button takedown is great for cleaning down these hush puppies. The Ruger Mark series pistols are known to simply work. Although every now and then you may have a hiccup from inconsistent ammunition, one could generally assume that reliability and accuracy are included within the Mark series package. While many of these features on the Mark IV Tactical are on other production suppressor ready 22 long rifle pistols, none of them combine them all for a $400 to $500 package. My old Warthog P22 habitually put itself on safety because a divot would wear out. Some of these pistols seem to be made from inferior metals. While the Browning Buckmark and the Smith & Wesson Victory models are great target pistols, the screws can back out. I've had this happen a few times with my old Browning. We did not look at revolvers since you cannot effectively suppress them. So what you have here is a nimble, accurate, reliable 22 pistol that could be easily suppressed, unlimited subsonic ammunition, and quickly serviced and for the cost of roughly $28 per 550 cartridges, the 22 rimfire cartridge is roughly at 20% the cost of a 9mm target cartridge. So for us at 9 hole, two thumbs up on this sleek snake in the grass package. Ruger did have a recall on the Mark IV safeties, but so far they have been fast on the work and will return affected pistols with an extra magazine. It's been fun shooting a video on the low-key quiet side and we'll see you guys around.